to this. So a nice big deep breath in. And we're going to relax that down. Another nice big beautiful big breath right into the heart space. And as you do, it's like we're collapsing all the reality around us and becoming centered. And as you breathe, even start to visualize, it's almost like even the room around you can start to become hazy, like nothing else matters, nothing else exists, but you right now breathing into your body, connecting to the flesh. Nice big breaths in as you pull in the ether, the air, the light, the chi into the body. Really connecting to the breath and feeling it as it pours in through the nose, through the mouth. And allowing yourself to get nourished by the breath. And we're going to have a nice big breath in. We're going to start charging up the heart space. So a nice pulling of a breath into the heart. But as we pull in the breath into the heart and allow it to relax out, we're going to start to visualize in the heart that eternal flame starting to feed, starting to grow, starting to be fueled up as it expands through the chest. And we're going to connect it right up with electricity from the heart, right up through us into the source. Right up through, and we're going to connect and merge with the source of pure creation. And really feel the connection. And as you feel the connection, allow it to cascade down into you as you welcome in divine consciousness right through your soul star, right into you. And it's like as the source frequency washes through your soul star, it becomes your frequency, highlighted, emphasized, as you breathe in your soul's frequency, the pure essence of who you are, before any distortions, right through into the back, into the heart, into the body. And as you're breathing it down from above, we can start this spiraling motion through as we breathe it into the lungs, see it spiraling through the lungs into the heart. And then allowing it as it spirals through the heart, then to start spiraling through the rest of the body as you connect into the power and essence of the blood, of the magnetic field of the blood, that iron that spirals round. And if you are low on iron at the moment, breathe that beautiful chi light in as if you're bleeding into every blood vessel. Every little bit of blood that's pouring through your body. And then feeling into the lungs. So a lot of blood is actually created within the lungs as well as the marrow. And as we breathe into the lungs, right to the base, we're going to allow any components of the lungs that create blood, that are a part of the creation of the blood, to be filled with chi, with light, for production, for more uptake of that energy into the blood. It's like we're breathing into that beautiful redness, that life. And when we think of our earth, especially here in Australia, the red dirt, how it's like the blood of the land. And we are part of that land and that land flows through our veins. And as we connect to the essence of the earth, of the minerals of the earth and breathe them up. And as we breathe and connect, we're going to allow that connection to deepen as we electrify the heart down through into the earth. As we connect through to the iron of the earth, the blood of the earth, the minerals of the earth, the crystals of the earth. Every component that is an essential part of your body's form all with their own energetic structure, energetic frequency, 
that binds together to create this flesh that you have right now for your body. And as we breathe in the beautiful essence of the earth, and we go deeper as we allow ourselves to fall into a higher consciousness realm within the earth, taking the mineral aspects with us of the iron and the minerals that are essential for our body, our physical matter. And we're going to charge them with a higher frequency as we drop into the higher realms of the earth, down through into almost like a crystalline portal. And as we feel into the heaven on earth frequency in this beautiful portal, the time before the fall of man on the earth, before the fall of consciousness into matter on this planet. And it's light and it's bright and it's like everything is eternal. Everything is in its most purest form, undistorted, pure heaven on earth frequencies. And as we connect these minerals that are part of our physical body here in this dimension of physical mass down through into that beautiful frequency of almost like there's no matter at all, pure consciousness within the earth. And we're going to breathe that up as we connect through, merging with the core of the earth and allowing ourselves as we breathe up from the core and ground to breathe up through the minerals of this planet right the way through up to our base, feeding our root chakra, the red that emanates from the base, the foundation of your body, feeding and allowing that essence of the red dirt to pour through into that lower chakra, your foundations, now, this part as well is created when you were really young. So allow this to fill through. And if you're feeling younger aspects of yourself, the little girl version, the little boy version of yourself, allow yourself to really feel into them. How did they connect to the earth when you were little? How did you connect? And allow yourself to ground as a little child. You might have felt very different from friends, from family. You might have felt it that you just didn't fit in in some way. Allow yourself to fit into the earth, to connect to this beautiful consciousness of this planet and allowing it to feed through into that root chakra. And then right through into the womb portal and right up into the beautiful sacral chakra. As we allow that red to emanate as that beautiful orange, like the like a sunset, like a morning, like a sunrise burning from your belly. And as we bring in almost like that sunrise energy, we can allow the sunset to set the old and arise the sunrise, beautiful orangey frequency to rise up a new beginning within you as we connect that healthy, vibrant red through to the orange. And we allow these colors, these vibrations to start spiraling through our base, connecting back to the lungs, connecting back to the heart, connecting back to our bodies. And it's like the, the veins within our Bodies are like the rivers within the earth. They feed us, they nurture us and allow yourself to stretch through with your breath as if you're breathing the flow of blood through the hands, through the feet, stretching it to the very tips and allowing it to relax. And then pulling in that breath with the blood, like you're magnetizing the blood to flood every single organ of your body. To flush it with life force energy. Like the blood is starting to glow, vibrate. 
And that redness can almost become a beautiful life force glow around every single blood cell. As we allow it to nurture. Beautiful. And as we feel into that sunrise coming up from the base of us, into the sun that shines in the sky through the solar plex. And it's like that beaming sun of the midday sun high above you in its full power, in its full essence. But it's right in your belly. The power of the sun that never stops shining for anything or anyone. And there can be clouds in front of it, but behind any cloud, it still shines. There is nothing that can stop the sun. And as we allow that essence of that powerful essence of the sun to pour out of the solar plex right in your belly area, breathing into that sunlight and allowing it to radiate around your auric field like it's creating a bubble, an essence that's going right into your aura. Strengthening, and as that shining sunlight shines through into the orange, into the red, to nourish the body. And we're going to allow that sunlight now to go through again into the blood as we breathe the light of the sun into the blood allowing it to burn away any essences of bacteria or any distortions of sickness within the blood and within the fluid liquid of the blood. And as we breathe this sunlight to shine through every blood cell, we're going to connect it back through into the lungs, into the breath, and back through into the heart. And then back through into the entire body as it circulates the sunlight with the blood around the entire body. Feeling as you breathe, it almost bursting through your fingertips, bursting through your toes. And if it's not doing that, breathe, supercharge it into light and allow it to burst through as if the blood is becoming so vibrant like it's vibrating every single blood cell and it's creating an expansion within your body, an expansion of movement, allowing the blood to push through any blockages, push through any stagnation and allowing that beautiful flow to keep circling around. And as we allow the sun to shine, we connect with the green of the heart, knowing that there would be no green on this earth without the sun. There would be no trees. There would be no grass. There would be no life. And as we connect with the life of the green into the heart, seeing the most vibrant, fresh leaves, the most beautiful, long, fresh green grass as if it's swaying and moving in a gentle wind and allowing that essence of the green to expand and open your heart up like a flower blooming as we allow the essence of the natural blooms of flowers of the green that can then bloom into any color, any shape, any size. The magic of this beautiful nature that we live in. And as we connect through the heart to the wise, to the big, to the huge trees on our planet, to the wisdom, to the stories of these trees, to the trees that were huge and got removed a long, long time ago. The energetic imprint of those trees is still here. And as you connect your heart, feel into the imprint of those trees that stood taller than any other tree, that make our tallest trees look like bushes in comparison. As you connect through to the huge wisdom, the 
the life that was actually on this planet. There was no desert. There was life everywhere. And as we allow that green luscious light to fully relax the heart, shedding through the emotions, expanding the heart, and just like the earth could just burst up out, those new buds, those new seeds, allow new seeds of consciousness to burst out of your heart. Seeds of good intention, seeds of things you like to plant for the future, but they're already coming out of the soil. They're already starting to grow their leaves. And as those leaves start to grow and the shoots come out wide and far, we're going to reach up our consciousness up into the blue. And as we connect to the communication, the air, the winds, the waters, and we allow that blueness of the rains of the sky to pour down through, to nurture the green, to allow the sun to nurture down through to the earth, down through the orange, down through into the red. As we feel every part of you start to fill up as we bring through the rain, the emotion of communication, the emotion of the ocean, the waters. And as we connect that wave, that song of the, of the voice, right through into the blue, the calmness of the blue. And we're going to allow that to relax through as we expand the throat. You might feel quite a bit of it in the throat. We're going to allow it to expand through more into the sky, more into the movement. And we're going to allow the voice to be heard as we bring through the voice into the air, into the sky, a song, a rhythm. And feeling your voice carry, feeling your breath carry way out through your home, your suburbs, right out through the world, even out through into the universe. As you echo your song, your frequency of your soul, out through your voice, your throat. And we're going to allow this to transcend upwards into the seeing into the appreciation, the beautiful color, of the violet of the head or the purple. And we're gonna allow now this purple to be that ultraviolet color. And we're gonna allow it to merge with the crown as we allow this ultraviolet fire to burst up through the head, through the mind. and cleanse and wash down through the entire body. As we allow this ultraviolet fire now to wash through into the layers, into the first layer, into your second layer, into the emotions, into the third layer, into the mental force, And into the fourth layer, and the fifth, and the sixth, and the seventh, and out through infinity of your soul frequency. As you allow this fire to burn through in and around you like a ring of fire that beats out through every heartbeat, another enhancement of that ring of fire like a ripple in a pond of flames that echoes out from your body right the way through your frequency through your reality of your life allow it to burn through even through your work through your family 
for your environment as if it's allowing that fire to flow into every home around you and right out through into the suburbs. And as you breathe and hold space for that fire to just keep burning all in and around you. As we allow it now to connect and center you right the way back up into your channel to source. As we allow the light to connect with your source consciousness and amplify through and down through your body. Down back through into your heart. Down back through into your body. Lighting the body up. Charging the body with that golden frequency. And with that nurturing energy of the earth. And we're going to allow this now to start washing through, down through into the father line. And we're going to allow it to wash down through into the mother line. And as we breathe and relax, we're going to allow this fire, this consciousness to start echoing through the two lines through your genetics, both at the same time. As we allow this fiery cleanse to come through, you might even see it start to turn into a white, into a purification flame. And as we allow this almost like ultraviolet with a change uh, interchanging into the purification flame the wash through the family lines through your father through your mother through their parents and back and back and back and back and back and as you breathe and allow that ripple to go right through your family this feeling of burning off the old the stagnation the old programs, as we allow through your essence, through the essence that burns through your family, a burning out, a clearing out of any vows, any agreements to any royalty, to any private group, secret societies that may have been vowed upon, ritualized upon in different lifetimes different dimensional fields. And we're gonna allow this burning down. You might even see scrolls. You might just feel the fire just burning through wherever it needs to go. And that feeling of every vow that you have ever took that blocks you now, that blocks your freedom in some way. Even if you were in royalty, even if you were given riches through this or special powers in the past through connecting to these cults, to these families of royalty. We're going to allow, if these are not of the highest good in your ascension into the life wave path, into true freedom, true liberation, into true power of your own body, your own soul, to be burned, to be incinerated, as you allow every vow you have ever taken, consciously subconsciously to burn through space through time as you liberate your soul to go off your own essence your own power your own wisdom your own sovereignty of your knowledge through lifetimes through eternity of your soul the essence of what your soul has already learned known deep to its core. And as you allow the shedding of all these connections to all different entities, all different groups, all different societies, and we even start to let go of the present day society, this lock into the financial system, this lock into slavery through work, through chasing the chain of money, and we're going to allow that any agreements, any contracts we have with any banks, with any government entities, 
anything that even our parents may have signed that connected us to a group that may have sold us away energetically. We're going to allow that to burn through as we liberate this ring of fire in and around ourselves to bring in sovereignty of the self, to bring in the power of who you truly are. Standing your own essence, your own wisdom, your own beliefs of you know what is right. And as you feel now this gratitude come up as you shed the old, all the things that you thought you needed to be truly powerful, truly good, to truly ascend in the past. A lot of them held you back. A lot of them kept you trapped. As we allow this rise of the phoenix fire within to begin, like a burning fire for your core to stretch out high and wide like flames of the wings of the the angelic version of you, the phoenix burning through you as you step into a lifetime of change where nothing will hold you back, where you can see the truth through everything, through all lives, where you can feel it in your core. No matter what words are spoken, you feel the truth and you know it. Allowing that to really embed through your identity center, through your heart, through your core. And as you feel this power, essence of freedom and liberation from everything that's ever been, the structures of control, fall away from around you allowing them to burn through ropes, through metal, as you melt it away with this eternal flame of freedom, of liberation. And you send this way through your father line. And you send this wave through your mother line. And you center yourself back, right back into your channel, your power, your connection to your higher self, to the divine, to our earth. And as you feel this powerful connection come through you now, amplifying that self-empowerment as we echo this out through our suburbs like a beautiful fire just burning through the old as we allow it to burn through houses, everyone in our entire suburb, in every direction, 360 degrees, like a fire that's just burning through that dead wood, through the ropes, through the cords, through everything that's holding this society down. And as we take another breath of connection from above, from below, from our own essence and free will, right through to ripple through the entire country, through other countries, as we allow it to overlap and ripple through the entire earth. As we bring in this wave of liberation, this wave of freedom, this wave of we can step into a new life, a new era. That all the control systems do not keep you safe. That the sovereignty of yourself within communities that also are self-empowered. As we allow this song of your own soul, this frequency of your own soul to echo this out through humanity, through the collective consciousness.
aligned. Right. Free to choose your path. Whatever path is right for me. That also serves the greater good, the greater collective. Breathe, soften and relax. As we allow another wave to go through the planning. And just noticing where different countries are heavy as we allow this to burn through. And allow it to burn deep through. It's like the fire can fall in through into the earth, into layers and layers of the earth's crust. through old frequencies, old distortions, old ley lines, whereas there's been pinpoints of trauma, of distortion. And we're going to liberate that as we cleanse, clear through the song lines. Even if you don't know where they are, that intention allowing your higher essence to know, to send that vibration through you. As we clear through with this flame of, of ultraviolet purification, this song of your soul deep into the ley lines. And as we allow it to start moving, flushing through. Riding in up all the ley lines and all the connections of this Beautiful planet. As we allow the purging of any sacrifice, any killings, any ritual ceremonies that have been taken place on these ley lines to be neutralized with our joy, with our awe for this planet. As you see now through those ley lines, flames reaching right up into the ozone layer, right up into the auric field of the earth, bursting out of every ley line as we cleanse, as we clear, as we purge. Every ceremony that we may have been a part of, everything that we may have even been seen on, any of our energy that has been sacrificed to cause a distortion within these ley lines, as we allow that energy to be cleared and liberated back to yourself, back to all the other souls that lost their energy, lost their life force. As we call back the liberation of the life force back into yourself, back into the individuals that may have lost it throughout the collective. And we allow the hearts to shine. And every soul that is looking for liberation, that is looking for freedom, we allow them to feel this. as we create a flame of liberation around the entire planet, right through the auric field of the earth, we're gonna allow a shedding, a burning off of any entities that have been feeding off the planet, that have been feeding on control and fear, that have been feeding on the money systems, the royalty systems, the secret society systems to be burnt, to be dissolved, to be neutralized as we ring in laughter, joy, play, right through as we vibrate this through the earth and her fields of energy, allowing this to echo out through into our universe as a vibration, as a song, as a sound frequency right through the entire universe as we call in the true essence of life on this planet. Her higher 
realm, her higher intentions of this beautiful Mother Earth, this Gaia. Now breathe it back through as we allow that blessing to radiate through the Earth. Breathing back any of your soul fragments that may have been scattered, lost, that are now freed from this planet. Breathing them back into your body, your aura. And then allowing yourself to balance through into your core. Grounding this through your legs, down through into your earth star. As you allow your auric field, your chakras to connect down through to the earth star, that it is safe to be on this planet. It's the safest time ever to be alive. For many thousands of years. There's a huge wave of emotion coming through. It's a gratitude. Feel that. As the earth blesses us with gratitude, as we bless her. Anchoring your earth star into that blessing, into that higher frequency of the earth. Breathing it up through the base. Strengthening your foundation, strengthening your base and breathing it up through every chakra above until it radiates out the top of your head like a fountain to water this earth, to water out reality. Just spend a moment just to relax in that frequency. Taking a nice breath to breathe back into your body, moving your hands, moving your feet, and 